Hi there guys and in this short tutorial from iSoftware Developers and XcodeTutorials.com I'm going to be showing you how to implement the uh, CL location that's um, a feature where you can get the location of your um, application that's being used so the location of the iPhone from the iPhone's built-in GPS now, <coughs> it's actually quite easy to do there's um, some inbuilt features um, in Xcode and, and, and iOS that allows you to do this quite easily. There's a framework with a couple of um, commands and delegates that you can call. I'm just going to run you through those and what we're going to do here is start building an app which will track um, the location and ultimately we will um, show that as a trail on a map. So let's say you're making a jogging app or a, a cycling app or something like that and you want the person to be able to run this application while they're out jogging and uh, we want to overlay their trail on Google Maps or um, Apple Maps. Maybe also as well we can get some statistics on how far they've ran, their average speed, etc. So I've set up a very, very basic um, GUI here, we just got two buttons, start tracking and stop tracking. Um, before you can use the core location, you need to add the framework. So you would just go over to your um, um, general tab in your app, and down here you can see I've added core locations. So to add a framework, just click on add items. You can see there's many different types of uh, frameworks here and libraries that can be used. So if you're using the accelerometer, for example, if you want to access the address book, um, audio toolbox, AV foundation for accessing the camera, um, core data if you're going to use core data for a database, and so on. So I've added the core location framework, and then in the header file, we need to import core location forward slash core location dot h, and then we need to set up the CL location manager delegate. Down here, I've created two instances. One is a CL location manager, which I've called LM for location manager, and the NS mutable array, which is our track point array. What we're going to do is every time we receive from the GPS an, up, an updated location, we want to add that location to an array. So we're going to end up with a list of different locations that uh, we've been traveling through every time our um, delegate, our core location manager delegate calls our um, code, updates us with the latest location, that's the latitude and longitude. I want to add that data into the NS Mutable Array, which could then be stored. So um, you could store this uh, as an NS data object within core data. You could store it to NS user defaults. So you could store this for later retrieval. Um, if you're making some kind of exercise app, I would recommend implementing core data as a way to store that. I then set up two actions uh, linked to our buttons that start tracking and stop tracking. So we'll go across to our implementation file. You'll see I've added a view will appear method. Um, I put it in view will appear rather than view did load because uh, every time I, uh, this view appears, uh, I want to create the, the track point array and I want to allocate it. So um, we're basically initializing our NS Mutable Array ready to be used. Then in our start tracking method, basically what we're going to do to start tracking is we're just going to start our um, core location manager. So remember we uh, created an instance of the core location manager which we called LM for location manager. So we're going to say LM is equal to core location manager alloc init. So we're going to initialize our core location manager. Location manager dot delegate is equal to self. Location manager dot desired accuracy is equal to KCL location accuracy best. See, we could change this to um, best for navigation. We could change accuracy to 100 meters, to the nearest 10 meters, nearest 3 kilometers, so on. So we're going to say best because uh, if we're doing some kind of um, exercise app, like a running app, then you want the accuracy to be quite good. So, you know, you don't want the nearest kilometer, otherwise our running distances and trail will just not be accurate. 
Um, then we have our location manager distance filter, distance filter none, and location manager start updating location. So what this basically does is it tells our location manager to start. So it will turn on the GPS and it will begin to um, update with our current location. Now there's a delegate method here. I'll just move it up because it makes more sense to be underneath here. And that is our core location manager, manager did update locations. Now what the um, location manager does is every time the location updates, it adds it to, a, to an NS array of locations. So I'm going to take the latest location, which is CL location, current location, locations, last object. So locations is our array being generated by our core location manager every time it updates. We're going to take the last object, which is the latest entry, and we're going to add it into our track point array which remember we initialized at the beginning, that's our NS mutable array where we're going to store all of our track points. So track point array, add object, current location. And then underneath here I put an NS log of our track point array. So what this is going to do is we're going to log to the uh, console window the contents of our array. So we should be able to see every time our location updates a new array being displayed in our um, console window with our latest location and all of the previous as well. Stop tracking, it's quite simple, all we're going to do there is just um, stop the location manager from updating and then set it to nil. So location manager, see a location manager alloc init, location manager stop updating location, location manager is equal to nil. So we're going to basically turn off our location manager and stop the GPS from updating. So if we go ahead and run this application, you'll see when I press start tracking. I've um, simulated, as someone must mention, um, location, I'm simulating a, a city bicycle ride, it could also be a city run. So what this will basically start doing is um, in our iPhone simulator, we will start simulating a, a run or a series of locations. So when we press start tracking, it's going to begin updating us with our array. So you see here, every time we get a new location, that location is being added to our array. And there's lots of different data you can see here. We got our latitude and longitude, the accuracy, which is plus or minus 5 meters, plus or minus 10 meters, plus or minus 30, so on. We've then got our current speed, our course, which is our heading, so 180 degrees, 182 degrees, and the time. So we are logging basically to an array all of the data on where we have been, the direction in which we are traveling speed in which we're traveling and our current location in latitude and longitude. So we could take that data and we could display it on a map if we wished and we could begin to draw a trail on the map of where we've been. And that's what I will cover in the next tutorial. So here you have basically how to set up the core location manager, how to create an instance of it, initialize it within your app, choose what accuracy you want and begin to update your location. Um, remember when, you, when you're done updating you want to turn this off because uh, it's constantly updating, it's using the GPS and it will eat up the iPhone battery quite quickly so you really only want this to be on when the user needs it which is why I put the button for starting and stopping it. So remember when you stop it you must set the location manager to nil in order to completely turn off the GPS and stop requesting any data from it. Um, so that's it. Uh, you can go over to my blog, xcodetutorials.com. Um, you can find the address underneath this video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to follow my YouTube channel and like this video, share it with your friends. Um, you can download the project file from my blog. Uh, so feel free to reuse any of this code you like in your own 
um, projects. I hope this gave you a good insight into how the location manager works and in my next tutorial we'll be looking at the mapping interface and how we can begin to show our location on the map as well as draw a breadcrumb trail of where it is we've been. So I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thanks for tuning in.